Hello everybody, welcome back to another uh, 10 a day challenge. Today is day 3 and 4. The one I'm drawing right now is day 3. I actually drew day 4 before day 3 because I got the days mixed up, so that's why once I get to the end of this section, you'll see some of the drawings from the next section. Don't worry, it's not Inception, though that would be cool. Uh, it's actually just because I'm a big screw up, and so it just kind of happened that way. I'm so happy because I've officially finished 40 drawings in four days, and while those drawings are most, if not all, crap, at least I can say that I did it. Um, I've been thinking a lot about, too, what's going to happen with the... Uh, because this is Easter break and I'm gonna have Easter. Uh, the day before Easter is gonna be really busy because I have to clean up the house for family because basically the entire family comes over to the house that I'm in and we all party and so there's a lot of cleanup to do. There's a lot of preparation to do the day before the actual thing and then during the day there's even more preparation and then I'm gonna be with family for most of the day and it's not like I can sneak away to my room, you know, to draw for three to four hours straight my family will start to question me they'll be like yo where's she at because they are super family oriented so what i'm probably gonna do is i'm not gonna record any of the drawings on saturday or sunday um i'm that that doesn't mean i'm not gonna draw them i'm still gonna draw them i'm just gonna draw them in between time with my family i'll get them done you know in increments i'm and i'm not gonna not gonna finish them like that, but on Monday, when I do the Monday uh, 10 a day challenge, I will record both from the, both from Saturday and Sunday in the book, and then including uh, Monday. Like how at the end of the videos, I record all the stuff that I've done over the days. That's, um, that's gonna be what this is. And I'm sort of starting to enjoy this challenge. Um, I think it j could just be because I really enjoy drawing buildings, like aside from humans, I of course love drawing humans, um, but uh, buildings are my next favorite to humans, and so this was actually kind of fun, and I accidentally took a really long time on this, like I think total recording time was about six hours, um, but... I mostly spent all my time on this just because I actually have a lot of fun doing buildings and so like the other ones I kind of rushed them because I don't really like to draw them. I don't really like to draw cars or foliage or uh, mechanical parts. Mechanical parts actually wasn't bad. That actually was kind of fun. But I spent a lot more time on this than the other ones. But with that being said, there are still some crappy elements to these drawings um, because I, again, I still didn't take as much time as I would have if I were just drawing one. And so you can physically see in the drawings where I start to get tired because some of the lines are done with rulers and those are the ones where I was actually trying. The one where I, um, the one that I didn't put effort into were the lines that I completely freehanded. That, like, that one actually, I think I had a little bit of fun with that one. This one was kind of a fun drawing. The, but this was nearing towards the end of like the seven mark period and what I did with this one is I did the hardest ones first and then the easiest ones first just so I felt like it would like progressively get easier over time and then I would do it again and see I'm using a piece of paper you know I actually have a ruler but it was really far from me while I was drawing and so I ended up just using a piece of paper that I found randomly on my desk and so that's what that is and if you're wondering why my pencil is broken that was because of a friend we were like fighting over the pencil and it got broken and so now it's just kind of a nice little cubby hole for those tiny erasers and it's actually sort of convenient because it holds the erasers and not most mechanical pencils don't and that's always nice all right so this is day four day four was the mechanical objects um, for the first page, I think I'm drawing a clock and a pocket watch. And the pocket watch was really fun. Um, the pocket watch was really fun, actually, because it- I don't- okay. Let me just start with this. The little circles on all of my things, uh, were, um, they were a struggle. Doing any sort of circles was kind of an issue. 
Um, not because circles are hard, but just because my hand... Okay, well, yeah, because circles are hard. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, I mean, the the pocket watch was fun, even though there was a lot of circles. And in any of the mechanical objects, there was an absurd amount of circles. And I don't really understand why. Circles is apparently just a very nice little thing to add to mechanical objects. I'll keep that in mind if I ever have to design a mechanical object, which I probably never will. Catch me when I'm like, I don't know, 30, making or designing a mechanical object and looking back at this moment like, Ugh, you idiot. <laughs> but, um, okay, this right here, I'm actually drawing my power source. That is, um, this is the Phantom, I want to see, I want to say V8, I'm probably so wrong on that, but it's the power source that I basically use to power my mic, and it's really lightweight, actually. It's like this thin metal kind of thing, and I thought it was going to be a lot heavier because it was a power source, but apparently not. And that was also pretty radical because it was easy to move around and stuff, and that's nice. And I'm drawing it, um, Xbox and PlayStation remotes here. I don't know why. I was thinking, because while I was choosing what to draw for these, I was thinking mostly in terms of what my characters would use. But considering that their story is set very, very far into the future, I think it's like 20, 2090 that the story takes place, they probably don't really have much use for a PlayStation or Xbox remote. Because I feel like in the future, they, that kind of stuff is going to be obsolete. That it, I feel like it's all going to be like motion censored or even just like VR. I'm not ready, guys, by the way, for the day that nerve, um, nerve connected VR happens. Like, while that sounds exciting, what's going to happen to our planet? Like, what, what are we going to do? Then again, we would have a lot less time to screw up our planet, so I guess it's a double-edged sword. I'm using that phrase wrong. These are the final drawings, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in for the next 10 a day, which should be coming out on, let's see, what's today? Tuesday? So Wednesday, Thursday. Should be coming out Thursday or Friday early morning at like 4 in the morning. So I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!